Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today, I'm going to be analyzing what the Feds did and how you can benefit from what the Feds did. The U.S. Federal Reserve Bank, as some of you know, if you're a regular subscriber, you already know this. On November 2nd, they increased the U.S. interest rate by 0.75 basis points. So right now in the United States, interest rates are between 3.75 and 4.25, and that's quite high. And if you listen to Jerome Powell, the next day, November 3rd, he gave a speech where he said that, you know, the Feds are still likely to increase rates this year, 2022. Now, we only have one more month in 2022, that's December. So if they're going to increase rates, they're going to increase it in December. Now, what this means is that it's now more difficult for people to assess loans in America, banks to assess loans from the Feds, and then people, individuals, to assess loans from the banks, and then from people who want to get uh, mortgages to buy uh, houses from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and to buy auto loans. Now, that on its own, you know, yeah, it's a, it, it, it brings up alarm barrels, but, you know, it's not really um, enough to set up like a panic. However, a few days before Jerome Powers uh, said this, you had the U.S. jobs report for October, and it showed that whereas the U.S., had added 261,000 jobs, unemployment is actually on the rise in the U.S. Now, you couple this with what, what Morgan Stanley said. Morgan Stanley, they gave an advice to that the U.S. stock market is likely to go down, it's likely to contract by 30% more. And then Bank of America has said that by next year, the U.S. is likely to shed 175,000 jobs every month. 175,000 jobs every month. Now, we have historical data to see what's happening. When those, the Feds increase rates and make it very difficult to access loans, it drives housing prices down because people find it very difficult to get loans to buy homes. And then when the unemployment rate starts to go up and when the stock market starts to go down, we get to see that people who are already in their homes, they find it very difficult to meet their market payments. And so foreclosures go up. Already foreclosures in the United States are up. So home prices are going down. In Florida, they're already down by something like 15%. It's projected that they might go down by between 40 to 50%. In California, which is the other side of the United States, it's, that's on the West Coast, it's already down by between 8 to 10%. And then, you know, uh, analysts are predicting that it's going to be the worst drop in home prices since the Great Depression. And the Great Depression was almost 100 years ago. So what does that mean? We see that in the past, when these circumstances when all these things have happened together you know unemployment is going up um, the rates are going up and then income you know from uh, in America is going down what happens is that people leave homes they leave uh, buying of homes and they leave homes that they've already bought and then they want to start renting so rental income rent, rental property is going to go up so rents are going to go up and then so people are going to be making money from rent so you got to understand that you know bad news is good news for investors. Bad news, bad economic news. Yeah, it might be bad news for people that have a job, people that are on the, uh, in the uh, stock market, people that uh, belong in the rat race, but for investors, bad news is actually good news. So what does this mean? It means that it's an opportunity for you and I to make money. So we can join the 1% who control about 90% of the world's wealth. What does that mean? Now, stop spending money on things like the iPhone 14 that's about to come out, on a new designer jacket, any money that you have, keep it because banks are going to be looking for people to take over those homes that are being foreclosed. So it's an opportunity for you. Why? Because people are going to be wanting to rent homes. Rental property are going to be going up. Rents are going to be going up. So if you can get some money, just 10% down payment, if you're outside of the United States, if you're in the United States, maybe you need about 3% down payment, start getting ready to buy homes. Start getting ready to buy these homes that are getting foreclosed. If you go right now on Zillow, you're going to see a rise in foreclosure homes by about 15%. You need to be in a position to buy those homes so you can put renters there. Because if you check it now, already rent, rent, uh, rent in America is, is already up by about between 3 to 5%. Eventually, by next year, it's going to go up by about 15%. So you want to be in a position to, put, to buy those homes and put renters there. Because after there's going to be a cycle, this recession is going to be over, and then home prices are going to come up again. They're going to come up and again, and probably they're going to come up maybe by about uh, between 40 to 50%. It's really hard to say now. So for those years, 
while it's coming up, you put rent as in your home, and by the time home prices recover, then you sell those homes. So you make you made money from rental income, and then by the time the homes home value appreciates, then you make another fifty percent of, of your money on that. That's how people make money in a recession. Now I know this is a mouthful. If you, if you watch this and you have questions arising from this. Put your questions in the comment section of this particular video and i'll do my best to respond to these comments but you got to remember i do not have a whatsapp program a telegram channel a gmail email address so scammers have seen that my videos tend to go viral and so they created a number of fake youtube profiles approaching people in the comment section telling them helpline guideline one-on-one -on -one mentoring you know i don't collect money from anybody all those guys i would not never approach you in the comment sections of my video except to respond to your questions now some of you might be asking, but I don't live in America. How can I buy homes? No, America has no citizenship requirement for buying homes. So you can be in Mongolia, you can be in North Korea, you can be in Nigeria, Tanzania, Cambodia, you can be in Peru and still buy homes. You know, you can buy homes through Redfin, redfin.com. It's quite easy, redfin.com. Or you can buy homes through a number of realtors in America. This is Renan Mercury, the Apostle of Prosperity, saying, God bless you. But when all travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the whole world in large, fighting with the monsters. Poverty I can't stand. That's where Reno is.